Start your engines, boys and girls. Today, I'm gonna tell you why I would pick a minivan to be my first car. So why would I pick a minivan to be my first car? But before I get into that, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Lee Dickey. Welcome to Lee Dickey TV. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And on this channel, you will get vlogs, commentaries, comedy videos, everything and anything my mind can think of. So please do hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into why I would pick a minivan to be my first car. So picking a minivan is my first car and why would I do it? I actually don't have a car. I've explained this about a thousand times on camera, I've countless times at least, okay? And millions of times off camera in my personal life. I probably stopped counting because I stopped caring to explain it to people in my personal life off camera. But, you know, I've mentioned that several times on camera and on my various podcasts, which you can subscribe to. Links in the description. But as to picking, as to why I would pick a minivan as my first car, it's simple. I've explained this. I use a walker to walk because I'm disabled. I have cerebral palsy and I just need a walker to help me walk because it's basically in the name of the device. You see where I'm going with this. So, you know, I've never, it's not that I haven't had a desire to drive, I just never really had a reason to drive anywhere. What I mean by that is I've never, it, again, not that I haven't had a desire to drive, just never had a reason to, you know, get a car and drive everywhere because I live in a major metropolitan city we have a public transit system here so you can easily you know hop on a bus hop on a train and get to where you're going just take the subway system and you're good to go right so having a car kind of a secondary thing i've always loved cars and i've always loved vans cargo or mini didn't really matter but you know again never really had a need to have a car or a need to even have a driver's license so, you know, I've never gotten it, and plus, like, you know, being disabled, having cerebral palsy doesn't necessarily make it easy to drive, right? Because, like, my motor skills are affected, and, you know, I just, it's having me behind a 2,000-pound car. I don't know. I mean, but, you know, technology has made it so that you can easily modify a car, and that's the main reason I would pick a minivan to be my first car, right? If, you know, I ever did get my license one day, and if I ever did, you know, just get my first car, it would be a minivan. More so, like, I love all, all vans. Cargo, mini, doesn't really matter. But I would pick a minivan to be my first car for A, for a myriad of reasons. A, um, I love minivans. It doesn't matter whether it's Toyota, even though I, I lean more towards Toyotas because they're reliable. The last three or 400,000 miles, they will run forever. We've had Toyotas here uh, in this house and I never had a problem with them. You know, my best friend has a couple Toyotas. He's got a Camry that's, I think, a 2010 and a Toyota RAV4, which is an 07, and they both run so, so well. Okay, so Toyotas are always they have always been very reliable at least in my opinion because like my dad had one and then you know like i said my best friend and his family they have a couple and you know we've gone out and things like that just doing the thing is yeah, most people do you go out you have a drink or you go out and go to a movie or whatever right and you know he's picked me up in either car and they've just run super well right they just it's a smooth ride always Granted, winter, it gets a little more difficult because of the snow and what have you, but smooth rides in Toyotas, and I can never say anything bad about Toyota because I don't have a bad opinion of Toyota. Like, every Toyota I've ever been in has always been very reliable. I've taken several cab rides or, like, you know, ride-sharing rides, if you will, or ride-sharing trips, in Toyota cars, whether they're Corollas, Camrys, uh, the Sienna, again, which is one of my favorite vans. I love the Toyota Sienna. Those things last about three or 400,000 miles, 
and will run forever. Why I'd pick like a Sienna to be my first car if I ever got the chance, simple. If I needed to, I could easily modify it. Yes, you heard me right. I can easily modify a minivan, like a Toyota Sienna, which is obviously arguably like one of my favorite vans. But of course, you got the Dodge and you have like the Ford Transits. Like most of the cabs in my city, in my area, are Toyota Siennas or Ford Transit. I think they're the Connect vans. Because those things, they run forever, right? And you can easily modify a minivan. You know, I had a friend who we'd known each other practically our whole lives. We don't speak anymore for other reasons I'm not going to get into on camera. But his first car was a Toyota Matrix. And I asked him years ago when we were still talking and still friends, hey, why don't you, you know, just get a minivan? Because there's a service here that if you qualify for it, like if you're disabled or you have trouble getting around, they will, they're run through the public transit uh, body here in uh, Toronto, where this show happens to come to you from. They pick you up, say, from your address and then drop you off at the destination, then come pick you up and then drop you off back at home for whatever the transit fare is at the time. And I think as of recording, a transit fare is what? three dollars and 25 cents per trip so like if you're going from point a to point b that's 325 and then from point b back to point a that's another 325 it's about 650 for one trip fine whatever right uh still cheaper than in my opinion than actually having a car and a license and everything like insurance and stuff like that but you know most of the the uh the cars or the vehicles that they use are minivans, Toyota Siennas, you'll get some Hondas, you'll get some other things. You'll get um, buses, which I think are Fords, but, you know, getting back to the minivan thing, they have vans that come out of the side door. The automatic, the, the, the vans are highly modified. You know, anything that's not a, a bus or a, a sedan taxi, Basically, anything that's not a sedan taxi is highly modified. So they have ramps that come out the side doors. If you're looking at like a t Toyota Sienna, because those are the main vans that they use, um, you have ramps that come out the side doors. The doors themselves, like the the, sli the the sliding doors, they're automatic. Push a button and you know away it goes, which is cool, right? And in my case. Um, it may be more difficult for me to put enough pressure on the gas pedal uh, and use my feet to drive, but I can easily, like you can easily move, say like the shifting gears and whatever, whatever you would use basically in a car normally, like the gas and the accelerator, you can move those in a minivan to you know use your hands instead of your feet which again another main reason as to why i would pick a minivan to be my first car the other reason is i like a lot of room i like to stretch my legs plus i just like having room to put things okay so say i make a run to like a best buy or something or a home depot or even a grocery run there's enough room in say a minivan a toyota sienna Dodge Caravan, you know, it doesn't really matter, whatever it is, right? A Honda Odyssey, again, doesn't matter, but there's always been enough room in minivans to put stuff, to store things, to carry stuff, to transport things, you know? And getting back to that friend of mine I told you about earlier, we like I, I talked I said why didn't you just get a minivan because you can easily modify those I knew that even when we were talking initially when he got his car I think I was I don't know 19 20 we're about the same age so this was like 10 11 years ago and you know I was like why didn't you just get a minivan and even like then it kind of like surprised me he's like oh well minivans are a soccer mom's car you can't look cool in a minivan and you know, at the time, 
you know, this friend of mine, again, had cere like has cerebral palsy and, you know, we're, we were pretty much in the same boat. He got his license. He got a car. Good for him. But it was a Toyota Matrix. Now, I got nothing against the Toyota Matrix, but you can't easily modify a sedan, right? It's a lot more difficult, at least in my experience and from what I've heard and seen, to modify a sedan in the way that, you know, somebody with a disability or somebody with like cerebral palsy or whatever would need to drive like it's so much harder to modify a sedan in my opinion and from what I've seen read and heard from like my mechanic friends and people that drive it's just because there's not much room to move in a sedan like you, if you need to move gears if you need to you know put the accelerator on the dashboard this just there's not enough i mean i'm not i'm not gonna say that there's not enough room there's just there's less of it and in a minivan or in a truck or in a say like a, a moving van or whatever if that's your first car for the bread truck whatever it doesn't matter what it is you know if it's something that has a track record of being modified and being modified well for people that are disabled or for any real like if it's a if it's a disability friendly vehicle, let's say, if it's a minivan, if it's an SUV, if it's a truck, if it's, you know, a cube, like a moving van, you know, cargo van, whatever, if it has a history of being modified and the modifications go over well and people just keep doing it, you have a history there, you have a track record. So that's another reason. It's I need something reliable. I'm not into, I don't need something cool. Like, don't get me wrong, do I have a list? of dream cars I would want in my garage. Yes, a lot of them are 60s and 70s muscle cars, okay? With a few exceptions for, I would like at least, I don't know, two or three minivans, maybe some cargo vans in there. I want some vans, but a lot of it is 60s and 70s muscle cars in my dream, gar dream garage, right? So if I were to get a minivan, it helps that a I love them okay if I were to get a cargo van same thing helps that I love them but if you can easily modify it and you need something practical like I would honestly you'd use it as a daily driver right get your groceries or whatever go make a run at a home to a Home Depot get the things you need for the house just run errands or what have you you know what I mean like if for some reason you have to pick somebody up you know, if they come in from the airport and it's hypothetical, um, you know, take whatever's going on right now out of the equation in the world, okay? Just hypothetically, if, you know, somebody's like, hey, can you pick me up from the airport? Yeah, okay, I can easily just hop in my van or whatever and go pick them up, right? Or, hey, can you pick me up from the grocery store because I'm done and I need a hand getting home? Yeah, no problem. Sure, I got you, right? You can easily modify the van and with no issue. So basically what I'm saying is if it's practical and it's just simple to do, if it has a track record, then I'm all for it. Give me a minivan. You know, if I want to have a little fun, we can either paint it or wrap it to look like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Or I tell you what, here's what we do. In the front, give me like those red lights from uh, the Pontiac from Knight Rider. I'd love that. And just, you know, give me a speaking module with Kit's voice just so I can have some companionship in the van. Like, that would be cool, too. Paint it black and then give me those red lights there. And then, uh, you know, give me Kit's voice module or whatever just to have some companionship in the car or in the van, shall we say. But, you know, even, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was always about being practical for me. I mean, there are things that you could always want, but is it necessarily the things that you need? right so what i've always needed is something practical and if i were to get a car for any reason it would be a minivan because that's practical a i like room to a stretch my legs b to put stuff whether it's like groceries or things that i buy or for any reason okay just there's a lot of room in there you can easily put a lot of stuff in a minivan and you can easily modify a minivan because they have a track record of being easy to modify there's so many modified vans and trucks and suvs on the market like the toyota sienna again 
it'll run, it'll last forever, and you can modify it. You can move the, the accelerator and the brake up towards, say, like, closer to the steering wheel. You can have the doors be automatic, right? So they slide instead of you having to get out of the van and then, you know, pull the door open if somebody needs to, if you need to pick somebody up or you need to help somebody into the car. Push a button, the door comes open, and if you need a ramp, you can put one of those in there. And you still, I mean, you'd probably have to take out the second row in the van just because, but you'd still have that back row of seats, right? They're big enough that you can have three rows of seats in there, and you'd have no problem. Just, you put a ramp in there, you've got an automatic door, you can move the accelerator and brake pedals up towards the dashboard, you still have the room to put stuff, like your groceries or things that you'd get, like wood or lumber from like Home Depot or whatever, but mainly for me it's practicality because I like to stretch my legs and I like room, I like space, and it helps that I love minivans and the Toyota Sienna is one of my favorites. I'm a total Toyota fanboy. We'll get into that in another episode. But there it is. There you have it. My reasons as to why I would want to have a minivan as my first car if the opportunity ever came up. Easily modifiable, tons of room, and it helps that I love them. Okay, whether they're mini or cargo, but more practical, you know, the more practical vehicle, the happier I am. So if it's a minivan, if I look like a grandma at my age, I don't care. If I look like a soccer mom, I don't care. I'm not in this to be cool. I'm in this to be practical. And the minivan is the most practical vehicle that is out there. Tons of room, easily modifiable, and it helps that I love them. Okay, so, you know, if anybody's got a spare Toyota Sienna lying around, please do let me know. But there it is. My reasons as to why I would want a minivan to be my first car. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And we will see you guys in the next one. Follow on social media. Links in the description. Visit the official website, LeeTDickey.com. Link also in the description. We will see you all and talk to you all. Talk to you all in the next one. See you all and talk to you all in the next one. Words are hard to me. Hard for me, see? I can't even get through the ending uh, as we get to the end here. But thanks again for watching. We will see you all and talk to you all in the next one. All right, I've been Lee Dickey, and I am signing off. Peace.